Greetings theists and non-theists. I am the Atheist Paladin. Long time no see. But uh, I'm inspired, of course, because I attended the Reason Rally. And I want to talk about secularism, which was the biggest topic, of course, about the Reason Rally. How about that? The Reason Rally actually talked about what it says it was going to talk about. Um, according to other people, that says it wasn't going to. But hey, I'll, that's another video. But uh, I would like to talk about secularism and how uh, it's a good idea for everyone. And there's a couple points I want to raise. Well, what is secularism? Secularism is that government is neutral towards religion. It neither promotes nor hinders uh, religion in any sort of way. So therefore, when the laws are created or the government takes certain actions, it must be for the good of the whole of society. It's not any but good for any particular group or section of the population. It's actually good for the entire population. And uh, I think that's what secularism is all about. And it, it's good for theism. If you think about it, had not America had a, um, a secular approach, then America would have had to have his hands in almost every denomination that that was created in America. If you think about it, a lot of denominations started in America. Um, Baptists, uh, Mormons, Jehovah's Witnesses, uh, maybe Presbyterians, I'm, I'm not sure. But there's quite a few I know for certain that started in America and now are flourishing in America. And it's all because of secularism. If had we created something like an established church state, those those denominations would have never allowed to have occurred. None whatsoever. And now you want to turn around and attack the very thing that that allowed your denomination to even have the possibility to begin with. I find that a little I don't know, hypocritical and ignorant of history. But on top of that, when you uh, consider, you know, what happens when a religion has to enter government, it is always a violation of human rights. It is always a violation of free speech. It is always a violation of, hey, you know, keep the government out of my life. You know, you cannot talk about having small government and then government dictating that, oh, you got to obey every dictate of a religion. Every, everything that this religion says, well, you have to follow. And I don't think that's right. If a law has to be made, it has to be in such a way that it, it has a good general purpose. You don't need a religion to justify why this uh, law comes into existence. There has to be a good purpose to which that law is created. You don't need God to say don't murder. That's, 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 that's a no-brainer. Society thrives when people don't, you know, kill each other for shits and giggles. So when religion enters into it, it's, it's never a good thing. Now, a point to I come to where a religious person may not agree to is the more a religion controls the government, the worse the policy uh, that the, the policy effect that uh, government has or that policy has. Uh, case in point, let's uh, examine George W. Bush's uh, abstinence-only uh, teaching. Well, what was the effect? Well, in places where abstinence only was the only method of teaching sex ed, it had one positive effect. It had delayed the uh, average age by six months when somebody lost their virginity. That's the only positive effect. The negative effects, which is a slew, is that they used uh, condoms and other pro pro uh, prophylactic devices, uh, uh, contraception, less, so that means they had higher rates of STD transmission, they had higher pregnancy rates, and they had higher repeat pregnancy rates. 
Okay, they taught basically your religion, which teaches uh, don't have sex. It failed. And now we're suffering the effects of that. Had a policy been shaped uh, outside of religious attitudes and just shaped for a good effect, there might have been some abstinence teaching, but it would be abstinence plus other sexual education like safe sex and such like that. And we wouldn't then be uh, experiencing uh, the effects of, you know, teenagers getting pregnant and repeatedly pregnant and having higher rates of STG transmissions. You, you, you can't ask for a better example. Religion should keep its nose out of government and society as a general will fly and your religion thrives, or it may not, but in the idea of markets, that's what you have to do. You have to compete. But I think Christianity, particularly that in America, has been better off because of secular, secularism. Because, I mean, if, let me drive home a final point. There's a place where there is a mandated church, and it so happens to be, and I, th I think Den Denmark, Denmark has a mandated church. You know how many people attend uh, the, the mandated church? Hardly anybody. It's dying out. And it's an exact opposition to secularism in the sense that religion is dying out. They're now one of the most uh, secular and, well, secular-minded, but not a secular government, but one of the most atheistic countries in the world. Maybe if you don't force a religion and allow people to choose, maybe people will choose religion more often. But you know what? That's their prerogative. And I think it's better if everybody has a choice. You'll still get to do what you want to do as a religious person. It's just that you'll have to control yourself privately. And you can't depend on the government controlling you because that's what they seem they want. They want the government to control them so they don't commit the sins that make them feel guilty. That's why they want to ban pornography, because they can't control themselves of viewing pornography. So the government has to do it for them, and it has to be the nanny state. And I think that is a bad idea. Secularism is a wonderful concept, if only we could actually practice it consistently. And I think every would ben everyone would benefit so this is why I am openly secular, because it means good governance. It means prosperity for everyone. So uh, thank you. Thank you for listening to my little rant. And, uh, and remember, rationality is the path to righteousness.